At this place in history, we're in Barrie at the Vermont History Center with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, this place is incredible. Oh, it is, and we have so many great stories here. And today we're going to look into a remarkable Vermont woman uh, named Sylvia Wright. So worked on education and part of the arts community in Southern Vermont. So uh, let's head into the library and check it out. So Amanda, we're back at the Vermont Historical Society Library here in Barrie to talk about another remarkable Vermont woman, Sylvia Wright. And so Paul Carnahan, the librarian for the Historical Society is here to bring us through some of the papers and talk about her life. Great, who is she for people who aren't familiar with the name, who haven't heard of her before? Well, she's uh, someone who a lot of people probably haven't heard of. She was a, a very active woman in the 1940s who served in the Vermont legislature for uh, two terms. Um, and then um, moved out of state and um, so in many ways is, is forgotten. But um, she donated to us this uh, interesting collection of her papers which documents a very active time uh, in her life and in the, um, the history of the state and the uh, activities of the legislature. She was born in Illinois and um, then she uh, married and settled in Rupert, Vermont in, uh, 19, in the 1930s. Um, I'm not exactly sure how she and her husband uh, decided to come here, although he was an artist and was very involved with the arts community that was in the Manchester area. They lived across the street from a uh, one-room schoolhouse and uh, she became very uh, interested in education. Mm -hmm. And that really became her cause um, when she went to the legislature. One of the issues she was tackling was um, school transportation. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, schools didn't, before this, schools did not provide transportation to their students. And she would go around and she would see a farm family where they had to spend several hundred dollars to get their child, their children to school. Um, and she also noticed dropout rates because people couldn't get to school, particularly high schools. Uh, and so one of her causes in the legislature was to uh, start a rudimentary system of um, requiring schools to provide some form of transportation and providing some uh, state funds to, to help underwrite that, uh, that cause. Coming out of World War II, it was noticed that a lot of um, Vermonters weren't as, uh, as healthy as they, they should have been, and so there was an effort to use the schools to uh, try to improve the, um, the physical health and well-being of Vermont children, and hence of Vermonters further down the road. This was one of the resolutions that she uh, introduced, and uh, if I can just read it to you, it's pretty, it's pretty quick, pretty short. It says, whereas women now compose approximately one-fifth of the membership of the House of Representatives of the General Assembly of the State of Vermont, and whereas said women representatives do not favor discrimination between the sexes in regard to the business of the legislature of the state of Vermont, therefore be it resolved that hereafter, when the General Assembly convenes, the women members of the House of Representatives shall not be given a preference in the choice of seats. Mm -hmm. And she's written on the bottom of it, bill introduced by Sylvia Wright of Rupert. And then after that, she wrote, defeated. <laughs> So I don't know when that practice uh, ended, but um, clearly it did not end in, um, in 1945 or whenever it was she, uh, she introduced this. Was she able to see some of the results of the, the causes that she championed? Um, I don't think so. Uh, she left the state very quickly. Um, in fact, she didn't finish out her second term. Um, so she, uh, she actually uh, got divorced from her husband and moved down to the Washington DC area where she went to work for the CIA. And um, I don't know what she was doing with the CIA, maybe no <laughs> one knows. Um, but um, yeah, she didn't, uh, she didn't get to, to stay around um, to, to see the results of her work. At this place in history.